cool. This is more like China. Oh, this is charming. This is beautiful. This is like the ultimate tourism video. <gasps> cool. Land ahoy. Um, once again, you're saying it a little too late. Alright, terra firma underfoot again. Well, if I look at my face, apparently I haven't puked, so that's good. Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place than Mele Mele or Akala, huh? I've got an idea, Nadia. Let's have a battle. Sure or why? Let's go for sure. I mean, any opportunity to fight is a good opportunity to me. I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of this fresh new air. Don't worry, I'll make sure both our teams are in fighting form first. Yeah, because I fought, you know, mystical Jesus jellyfish. How many, how many Pokemon you got? How many Pokemon you got? Three. Alright then. Look, he's got an Alolan Raichu. I want that! How do I get that? He defeated two of my Pokemon, and his last Pokemon is a Leafeon? That is so cool, I hate this guy. But I have my breath held the whole battle. So did I! You're way stronger than you look! Wow, that battle took my breath away. I can breathe the fresh air that way. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Miley Garden? Why do you want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? You've made it to Ula Ula Island now, clever girl. This means a whole new island Pokedex. It's all up to you what new Pokemon you uncover here, Nadia. Mali Garden? Never heard of it myself. What kind of place do you think it will be? We'll figure it out. Mali City, enjoying the enticing eastern influence. That's basically what it looks like. It looks seriously oriental. Seriously? I just got a Mewtwo through Wonder Trade. Damn, maybe I should try that too. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. The time in Alolan now is 14 o'clock. Ah, lemonade, Moomoo Milk, or Rosary Tea. I've never chosen the Rosary Tea yet, but the thing that I worry about is how is Rosary Tea made? That's the reason why I kind of want to choose it because are they made of Rosary leaves? Isn't that like abuse? Let's see what he has to say about it. Here you are. One rosary tea just for you. When you taste rosary tea, you'll first notice a sweet scent filling your nose, because sweet scent is one of their signature moves. Drink it while it's hot before you miss out on the fullness of its aroma. Hmm. Wow. Mali Garden looks so peaceful and artistic. I heard they serve tea somewhere here in Mali Garden. I'll start my search from, from the bridge here. Why don't you start around the edge of the garden? Good plan. That's how I usually walk around in games. It's just like getting out of a labyrinth of some sort. I just make sure I go in a clockwise movement so that the, the edge of whatever area I'm exploring is always on the left side of me. So in a way, uh, good plan. See, that's how close How and I are. Like, we basically think the same. So I gathered uh, a new Pokemon team, and what I want to do from now on is get all the evolutions that we've seen already and we've encountered. So in order to um, make sure that I can tell the Eevee apart, I gave them nicknames. So this girl is named Ashana, and I want her to become an Espeon by giving her high friendship during the day. She's docile and takes plenty of siestas. So maybe more of a night type, but whatever. This guy is Sylvan, and my plan is to make it a Sylveon. Um, and for that, I need him to learn a fairy type move. Maybe like baby doll eyes. Um, and have at least two hearts affection. He's bashful and a little quick tempered. Then I've got um, Sudoku.
Then I've got Sudoku. It's a Bonsley that knows Mimic, and if they know Mimic, then that is the right way to um, make them turn into a Sudowoodo. So you need to level them up while while they know Mimic, and this guy knows it, so that's very convenient. Then I got the Pikachu because it's an old favorite, and as soon as they can learn Volt Beam or Volt Tackle or something like that, um, we can use the the Picanium, which would be cool. And then I kept um, Serena, nicknamed Bouncy, and Primarina, just to keep the team going. Okay, so I made Ashana sort of fall in love with me, which is great. That's what I love about them rainbow beans. See, they love me. So now she has full hearts, so all we need to do is level up, I hope. Ashana leveled up. Leveled up two levels, even. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Quick and easy. Oh, it turned into a Sylveon. Well, that was unexpected. It's true, they do know a fairy type move. Its ribbon like feelers give off an aura that weakens hostility in its prey, causing them to let down their guard. Then it attacks. Should an old move be forgotten and replaced with fairy wind? Sure, why not? Tilt up doesn't really do that much. Bloop. Well, it's not a big deal. I mean, Ashana is a girl and Sylvan is a boy. Um, and Sylveon does look um, a bit more feminine compared to uh, Espeon. So let's just keep it. Make sure that Sylvan doesn't have a fairy type move. And then level him up. So now we get rid of baby doll eyes, because that's a fairy type move. And we replace it with echoed voice, also because um, that's actually uh, a damaging move. There we go. Let's see how that works. Then he eats the second one. It's kind of manipulative to use those rainbow beans, those rainbow beans, but you know, gotta save some time. Grew to level 15. Let's see what happens now. Nothing yet. The bridges are so pretty. Everything about this place is pretty. Is that a trainer? No. What in the world is the secret of the pond in this garden? Okay, we stumbled upon another mystery, I guess. Have a little fish. I want it to be like a koi fish Pokemon because nothing else seems to be appropriate for here. But it might just be another Magikarp. There we go. You grew another level, will it happen now? Is Shana leveled up? Nope. I found him. There he is. Ho, oh, Professor Kukui. Hey there. What's going on with you two? Your eyes are shining extra bright today. Did something big happen? Is he shipping us? You can even see the glowing Pokeball in the background. That's what I call animation because I saw the Pokeball before I approached him. So then now we got into this cutscene. But they actually took into consideration that you didn't pick up the Pokeball yet. So I believe that if you have gone around, pick up, picked up the Pokeball first, and then went back, this wouldn't have shown up. Like, that's a great eye for detail. Um, did something big happen? It sure did, or only something amazing? I'm not even talking about the Ether Foundation, but yes, something amazing happened. 
Professor, Professor, you gotta hear this. The Ultra Wormhole opened up, like, right in front of us. And there really are Ultra Beasts in there. You gotta tell Professor Burnett, too. Ooh, you got to see the Ultra Wormhole and an Ultra Beast? That is amazing. Oh, yeah. Sounds like an even better reason to train hard, yeah, on your island challenge. Maybe someday we'll all be able to go through the Ultra Wormhole. I'm not really sure if I want to go into Jellyfish World, but... It was kind of like the, the Love Crashing version of Ika no Musume. Alright, your next trial is up on Mount Hokulani. You can catch the bus to go there. Just head to the bus stop on Route 10, yeah? You guys can go ahead without me, Professor. I've got a hot date with a Malasada shop. He almost made me jealous, but then he brought it back. I love the flower in my hair. Visiting every last one of them is my own personal island challenge, yeah? Roger that, good buddy. I'll be waiting at the bus stop, Nadia, whenever you're ready to go. Hey, Nadia, did you know? Of course or know what? I'm gonna go with of course just to mess with him. I haven't even finished the question yet. There's an observatory up on Mount Hokulani, and you do know what it is they do at an observatory. Observe? Hope you do, because I sure as heck don't. <laughs> oh, it's alright, he's 11. Now I'm out. Oh. He forgot to wave. He's so precious. Bosley finally leveled up. Has Mimic as one of their moves. Super cool! When the weather grows warm, they form groups and swim upriver. This site serves as a poetic reminder that spring has arrived. Those aren't koi fish, right? Those are salmon? The rock, rockium, rocconium? Anyway, we're doing the Olivia move. Super Saiyan Sudoku, Super Sudoku, Continental Crush. Oh my god, that looks creepy. <gasps> That's imposing. That looks just like Dragon Ball Z. I can't say it often enough. There we go. Hmm, it's taking a longer time for Sylvan to uh, to evolve than I thought. With Ishana, it went so fast, but now we're five levels ahead and nothing happened yet. Time to see what our mean girl can do. Grass power. Bloom Doom. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this thing, an Araquanid. It's basically a spider looking robot with its head in a fishbowl. A netball is a Pokeball that is more effective when attempting to catch water or bug type Pokemon. And this guy seems to be both. It's the first time we caught a Pokemon that still has an evolved form before it, so wonder what the baby version of Oraquanid looks like. Do you think this is a moss rock? Now this is fancy, but only if you have open shoes like slippers, because otherwise, hmm. Cool. Today is Pokemon Day. Bitch, every day is Pokemon Day. We're getting close to another plot line here, apparently. Oh, there she is. And there's a cigar cube over there. See that green glitter? Nadia, would you mind if I asked you something? Oops. You want to go to the ruins, or is it about Nebby? Hmm. I'm gonna go with is it about Nebby. It's a little bit more open and doesn't feel like I'm immediately assuming stuff. Yes, I want to take Nebi to visit Ula Ula's ruins, but they are located deep in a large desert. I don't want to ask that much of you. Right now, I'm planning to visit Mali Library. There's a book that I want to look for there. Maybe you'd even be willing to help me. I know that Mali, Mali Library is here within the city of Mali somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this. You probably can. Yeah. Professor! 
Oh, another professor? Why, hello there, Rotom. Are you feeling nice and comfy there in that Pokédex of yours? Can Rotom Pokémon always talk? Or... And another thing, if you gave any Pokémon the means to communicate in the human language, are all of them intelligent enough to do so? Hmm... Oh well, hello there, good to meet you. I'm Oak, Samson Oak. If you just look at that face, he has an Oakian face, but he's like a little bit more tan and stuff. So obviously, they're related. I'm a Pokemon researcher, and I'm looking into the regional variants found around here. You yourself are a regional variant, anyway. And you must be Nadia, huh? Young Kukui mentioned you to me. Rotom, you be sure to help this fine young girl on her trip around the islands, alright? Who do you think you're talking to? Zzz, of course I'm doing that. And you, Nadia, I'll be trusting you to keep Rotom safe as well. The young fellow from Kalos who helped invent that Pokedex put a lot of work into it, and as much love and care as any parent. I'll be in the Mali Library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat any time. I still have to bring back my library books? If you're having trouble finding the library, just follow the Black Brick Road. Meaning the patterns on these paths, of course. Black circle, black triangle, black square. Follow that pattern and it'll get you there. Oh, it rhymes even. Okay, there he goes. Another malasada shop. We've got spicy malasada and bitter malasada, but since I like spicy better... Boop! I decided to give it to Eevee after all, it was a good call because Eevee's affection went up. Good job, Sylvan. It's getting late and it's also starting to rain, so I think this might be the right time to go back to Akala Island and catch Eevee in order to evolve it into Numbreon and Aleveon, maybe, if we can find a moss rock. Sylvan's ability is cute charm, which made the Oricorio fall in love with her. So now he's immobilized by love and doesn't want to attack. How awesome is that? This Eevee is a boy, um, but I'm not gonna name him Umbro because that's a clothing brand. And Umbra, according to Wikipedia, is one of the darkest parts of a shadow, and Umbra in Latin means shadow. So Umbra it is. Gender doesn't exist. Caught a male Eevee who's going to be our Leafeon. Um, Apparently, Leland means Meadowland, so that seems like a nice symbolism. Leland leveled up, so... It's not a moss rock. You know, the lack of Levion is disappointing, but we have to keep going, I'd say. Oh. Hi, I'm your friendly neighborhood officer who just can't get enough of giving out directions. You're a trial go, are you not? Well, trainer, if you head up from here, you'll find a library. Mind your own business. Okay, so the village is even prettier than I thought it was. Is that a clothing store? Yes. Give me some new outfit. Please, please, please. Um, could I borrow a moment of your time? Just a moment. Sure. Th thank you very much. You see, I've fallen in love at first sight with a Pokemon called Tsukedemaru. I love it to bits. I love it so much that I can't bear to even catch one for myself. Bitch, then you don't deserve one. That's just how it works. Are you a trainer or not? So I wanted to ask a favor, could you catch a Tokedemaru for me, and then show me its Pokedex entry so I can see it? I think you'll find some adorable Tokedemaru around the power plant. Its pointed little needles are just so adorable that I'm sure you'll get it as soon as you see it. And I can promise to reward you if you do this for me, so please. Up until now, every one of those challenges, for I think three of them, we've already missed because we just couldn't find a Pokemon. Now I get it. In Pokemon X, you had to go to the changing room, and there you get a selection of clothes. But here, you have to do it at the counter. Oh. Here are all the clothes. Jesus Christ. I feel so dumb now. Okay, so apparently we can choose from 23 tops, 15 sorts of pants and skirts, 2 types of socks, 5 pair of shoes, Seven types of bags, eleven types of caps, and three sword classes. That is insane. And now I have to choose. Fuck. So now I've got a pink top and denim shorts. 
uh, which I like a little bit better. And um, now I'm almost all out of money, so next time I'm gonna buy even more. This this type of shopping is even more addicting than in real life. As an afterthought, I'd like to add that's probably because I earn more in this game than I do in real life, so. I don't know if you describe the bird Pokemon in Alola as being comfortable around people or just plain aggressive. So they're based off Australian birds, I guess. Found a library, I guess. Nadia, I'm sorry, I ended up getting lost yet again. This girl will never change. She really need she needs a Rotom Dex, actually. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop and then I saw this outfit and they said it was the last one they had in stock so I bought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it. It looks quite the same as the other one. But the woman working at the library or at the store did tell me where to find a library. Okay, that's good. Um, if you look in the background you can see, well, you guys can see that well. It's that uh, small town lady with the mud bray. Evolution, whose name of the Pokemon I forgot. Anyway, we met her on Route 6. So I guess you could say it was all for the best. Though the library was actually right past the apparel store if I just kept going. Well, ooh. Yeah, I, I would be freaked out too. Hapu, that was her name. Nadia, I've been a while, friend. Looks like your island challenge is coming along favorably. That must be pleasing to the Tapu. So Nadia, who might this be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if Mud still spooked you just now. It's a big Pokemon. Doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually um studying the Tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you the way whenever you'd like to go. My Mud still here is sturdy as all, as all get out. She can easily carry two. Thank you for your offer. <laughs> is she small or is is the Pokemon just ridiculously tall? So we check out Mali Library first though, since we're here. Yeah, might as well. What I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. It wouldn't surprise me at this point. Alola, young Nadia, since you're out and about exploring on your island challenge, you must already know about regional Farayans, don't you? Yes. Just as I would have expected. Yes, regional Farayans. They arise when the influence of a particular region causes the Pokemon's physical aspect and even type to change. If you have caught one of the local Persians, the regional Farayans, I would like to see it. Or I could just show you an Evolve Meowth. Hmm. But it only takes like a couple of levels, so if I can catch it in the wild, it might actually be easier and faster. I came all the way from Johto to visit Alola. Is it true you can't use fly to fly around here? The first one is, I don't know, is it? And the other one is, yes it is. It is, because we use Charizard as a glide, but it's not literal. it's not fly, even though it functions the same. Wow, so it's really a thing. This really is a whole different region. But then how do folks in Alola fly around? On Charizard with a ride pager. The ride pager is used to summon the Charizard, but the Charizard is the one that makes you fly. So, everyone just rides around on special Charizard that have been raised for the job? Sounds weird if you ask me, but I've got to admit that riding on a Charizard will be a blast. Thanks for teaching me about how things are here in Alola. Here, you might as well have this. I used to get so excited over getting a TM that will teach you fly, but now it's not even an HM anymore because you don't need it to fly around. But let's just teach it to someone anyway. Back where I'm from, in Johto, this kind of TM is a real big deal. They're called Hidden Machines, or HMs, because they're so hard to get your hands on. But here I guess it's just another TM. Maybe you can use it in battle or something. It must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out of the library. Oh, the giggle. Is this what you're looking for, princess? She's sassy. Give it a read. Oh, of course. Hmm. 
Well, it's titled Delight of Alola. I'll just, um, read it aloud, shall I? Yes, do. The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where it had been none. A single beast appeared from in it. It was called the beast that devours the sun. Mm, getting close to the legendary Pokemon. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that shone so like the sun. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end the beast had won. Oh, so all the Tapu Pokemon weren't strong enough, collectively, the four of them? Then did the beast that devours the sun shine its light on the line of kings. Then did the beast that had won bring nature's gift to bless all things. Okay, so they were sort of benevolent? Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir in Alola born, that island guardians would keep from strife. Could that be Cosmoke, maybe? Cosmoke's like a cloud. Sun, moon, cloud, perhaps? The Asian kings sang their thanks for Sol Galeo with song of flute. Two tones rang out across the altar, a perfect pair, ever after mute. Sol, Sun, Leo, Lion. And then if we take a look at the cover, hmm. Isn't it great? My dad's book are all great. Your dad? What? I mean, yes it is, but when you say your father, isn't this book very old? So she's ancient too. Yeah, it belonged to my dad. I don't know, I don't, I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. You look pretty royal, but why did you call Lily a princess then? I had to have all my dad's books moved here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I could tell you lots of other old stories about Alola too. You interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I know why you've come to Lala. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Nadia? Good luck with it. I read that Ulaula's island's electric-type trial can only be reached by the bus on Route 10. The Guardians and the Asian Kings. In ancient times, the Tapu served as the leaders of the armies of each island's king. But if they used their Z power in battle, it caused great destruction across the islands. Because of this, the Tapu can no longer came to no longer lend their aid in the wars of men. Oh, so they were too powerful, but together they couldn't beat Solgaleo. So Solgaleo is like ultimate, oh, an ultimate beast. A great and terrible battle waged between the Tapu and the legendary Pokemon, but neither side could claim victory over the other. Upon finding themselves equals, the legendary Pokemon then gifted the Tapu with great power of unknown providence. Okay, so the team is Umbra because it's still night and I still have a good friendship with him, so hopefully he'll evolve. Then I got Cubone, who has Bone Club, so that's a ground type. Mudbray, another ground type. I got the Shana because Fairy type doesn't have a disadvantage, so might as well use her. Pikachu because she, he still needs to learn, oh she, she still needs to learn that bold beat kind of thing. So maybe if we teach her another um, non-electric attack should be kind of useful. Because at least electric against electric, defensive type, defensive wise, she'll be safe. And Primarina because I don't want to get rid of her, but I sure as hell can't use her. Ooh. Here is the Z Kaiseki. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, it looks nice. I'm hungry. I need to fix up my dinner. The mixed vegetables seem to melt in your mouth when you bite into them. Each of the little musubi has a different topping, and it's fun to pop each into your mouth. It was delicious. Now I am so hungry. My god. What will be our free gift? Hard skills. At least I can sell those. Ready someone to fight? No. Oh, looks like you're a trial goer, eh? I've got a favor to ask of you then. I'd be happy to help. Route 10 here is long and wide, and it's a great place to let your Pokemon play a bit. My Stuffle hasn't been getting much exercise lately, so I let them out of their balls to have them run around a bit. But they haven't come back. I want to go look for them, but it's hard for an old lady like me to traipse all around. If you find one of my little Stuffle, you just tell them to come back to me. 
They're impish creatures, but smart as a cookie, and with noses that could sniff out anything. They'll find their way back home to me. Oh, that's a cute mission. Will you help me find my stuffle along Route 10? Sure. I've got eight stuffle lost out there somewhere. She's like the crazy stuffle lady. Maybe they're hiding? Maybe they are. Ninja Samurai Geisha Ronin. I'm gonna pick between either Naruto or Gintama. Mm, Gintama. This is the third stuffle I found so far. They're always they're never completely inside. Yes, baby. Go home. Are they wrapping to a bus stop? What, you never see somebody take a bus stop to go before? No, not like that. Hey yo, you're trying to steal our bus stop? Best go find your own, you heard? There's usually oh well. Let's defeat them first then. Dang, I lost them. My homies gotta fight you. That's just life in Team Skull. We stand up to even the strong, yo. We stand up, but not for long, yo. So, you already acknowledge that you try, but you fail very quickly. Fine, let's do it then. His line upon defeat is, I don't know if you care, but that bus stop weighs about as much as Golem. Yo, think about the bus drivers. If we take this bus stop, they can all chill. They want to take it away? Why? Oh, I'm over this. Back to living large at the mansion. You live at a mansion? Why are you even trying to terrorize random bus stops then? Oh, Professor Kukui. What's going on? Some Team Skull Punks just ran past me going in the other direction, yeah? I sure wish they challenged the leak instead of getting up to no good all the time. The leak? Challenge what? Challenge what? Ho oh, ho, you'll find out soon enough. Just you wait, cousin. Are we really cousins? But first things first, if you want to head up Mount Hokulani, we should take the bus. It'll blast us up there to the top, yeah? As quick as sky uppercut. I'm still looking for one more stuffle before I take the bus. I got seven of them. Where is the last one? Oh, you child! All of my stuff will have made it back, thanks to you. You've been a great help to me here. I surely do owe you, my young friend. Take these from me, along with my thanks. Another Nevermelt Ice. I don't even use Ice Pokemon. Have I caught one, even? Ooh, and 15,000! Thank you, ma'am! Cute and strong, and just a little bit wild. That's what Pokemon should be, and that's why Stuffle is the best. I want that on my gravestone. Yeah? That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. Lanakila. It's a sacred spot, yeah? The closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola, said to be the Sun Incarnate. That's it, right there, on the peak of Lanakila. That's where I'll establish our Pokemon League. Oh, we get a Pokemon League here! <gasps> we'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges, yeah? And up there on the peak of Mount Lanakila, they'll battle against the Kunas to become the Island Challenge Champion. I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. Exactly! It's time to get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League, just like every other region, yes! To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Island Challenge Champion to the World Champion. And then, when we have our own champion, they can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alolan Pokemon and their trainers. I agree. This sounds like a great plan. Hey there. You're still as fired up as ever, eh, Royale? Feeds him! Ha, Nadia, let me introduce you. This is Mulane. He runs the observatory here and also manages PC boxes, but he's not Hokulani's captain. That's what I thought. Well, he looks a little bit nerdy, a little bit slouched over, which means he could still make a great Pokemon trainer, but it just doesn't really look that impressive. But I was the captain once, my mess friend. Oh, never mind then. It's Nadia, right? Thanks for coming all the way up Hokulani to visit us. But our Captain Sophocles is a bu busy young man. Sophocles sounds... familiar? Always calculating Comet's past or working on the festival plaza thing of his. Oh, 
silver class, yes! So I'll just determine whether you're qualified to take on the trial. I'll gladly show you the skills of a trainer who toughened up while adventuring alongside Kukui back in the day. Uh, I didn't heal myself. You gotta take a look at this duck trio, because this duck trio... Uh, got hella hair. It looks like, it looks like a rock band from the 70s or something. That's insane. The old blonde. No, they're Hanson. Mm, but you're with Kukui. Looks like you brought along good trainer. Hell yeah. Well, well, you certainly seem qualified to take on the trial. Yeah, I think she's even stronger than we were at this point of our island challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kukui. Who's this Masriel you're talking about? He didn't say Masriel. He just said, you just filled in the blanks yourself. You're so not smooth. All right, cousin. I'm heading back to Mali Garden. I figure how should be done eating Malasada by now, yeah? I'll make sure he makes it up here, too. Mm, I'm hungry. That guy's as interesting as ever. My old buddy. Welcome to our observatory, Nadia. Okay, let's go in then. Hokulani Observatory. Let's talk to everyone here. Take this to commemorate your visit to the observatory and keep a bit of space with you. A comet shard. I would have liked the moonstone better, but it's a fragment that fell to Earth when a comet passed by our planet. It's cool though. You can feel the vastness of space. Ooh, what a sense of adventure. He's a real science nerd, I can appreciate that. A dude and his magnemite. We use different waves, such as infrared rays and radio waves, to detect celestial bodies. So that's what you're doing here. Good to know. Modern astronomical telescopes are basically like amazingly good digital cameras, you know. Unlike the one uh, I'm, I'm using right now. Not really that amazing. We don't really look through them at space so much as we have them take photos of space so that we can see what's happening up there. I like this. A little bit of NASA in my, uh, in my Pokemon uh, game. We uncover the universe by having our huge computer calculate and calculate till there's nothing left to calculate anymore. Please don't feel us now, computer. That is cute. So can we uh, see the sights? Funky, all right, but old Malayne and Sophocles are thick as thieves. They're up all day and night playing games together and whatever else they do. It's amazing that they still manage to get their work done, but it's not easy on the rest of us. <laughs> kind of like me. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. The time in Alola now is 22 o'clock. This is the time around Sunday that I really should be getting ready for bed, but lemonade, cocoa, or tea. Laminate it is. Did you know the aid part of lemonade originally comes from the Kalos region? Oh? Each day the sun rises, filling the world with light. Each of us grows big and strong, bathing in its light so bright. Each night, the moon rises and quietly shines down. Each of us wrapped in peaceful silence, not one heart with a frown. Oh, he wrote that poem himself. He's so pure. There's good old Sophocles. I, I recognize him. You're getting close to our goal. I imagine that you must have come here to attempt a trial, huh? So, uh, do you like Festival Plaza? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's the case then. Fine, whatever, let's get started. Right now, or right here? Mm, right here, I mean, it's a cramped room. Right now, right here, <laughs> fair enough. You summoned a totem Pokemon and proved your strength to it. That's what every trial boils down to, right? So I thought. Why not just call the totem here from the start? What? So I tried a bit of this and that, and I think I whipped up a little device to call the totem Pokemon. Perhaps you're wondering why I built a machine. 
Here at the observatory, we also monitor sounds that we detect from outer space. There are some sounds that are inaudible to people, but Pokemon can hear just fine. We broadcast the sounds we've gathered terrestrially and monitor the reactions of Pokemon. The machine that summons the totem Pokemon makes use of this technology. Utilizing other sounds we've gathered, we also developed a security system here. But that was actually Big Mo's invention. Big Mo? Just so you know, this will actually be my first time trying it out, so I'm glad you came. I needed a test subject. I'm scared. These totem Pokemon up until now were all scary as fuck. Pink Totem Pokemon 2.0, engage. Oh my god. I'm not ready, I'm not ready yet. Now the totem should... Oh. No way, did I blow a fuse? Oh, did the door close? Let's see, we'll need to turn off the security system to get the door open. You'll have to pass an audio quiz. Ooh. It's fine, I definitely feel powerful presence. That makes me even more scared, if it's already coming. Fuck! In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. What sound do you hear? Uh, the Pokemon Center. Correct. Opening door. Okay, as soon as the door opened, a Pokemon came through. I'm counting on you, Nadia. Uh, what is it? Oh, oh, a grubbin. Me you could do it, Nadia. I'm trying. Oh, and just when I said it, the door closed again. Fuck! It's gonna be okay. The totem Pokemon is on its way. That only makes me more worried. Detect it. Oh shit. Oh shit. The presence of approaching Toads and Pokemon. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. You hear the sound when you get what? I don't know. Fuck. Uh. I think the Rotom Dex, because that's the one I listen to least. Correct, opening door. Something is coming out. It's not the chosen Pokemon though, so like I'm I'm not scared yet. Why am I doing this island challenge again? It's still freaking me out. I knew you could do it, Nadia. Oh, and would you look at that? The door closed again while I was flapping my jaw. Why don't you just have a normal door with a doorknob? It's gonna be okay. The totem Pokemon is on its way. Stop saying that. It's still approaching. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. What is it? I can't even imagine what kind of Pokemon it is. The security system has been 50% shut down. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. Which Pokemon's cry is this sound? Oh, that's a charger bug because it sounds like an accordion. Accordion. Sorry. Charger bug. Yes. Door's gonna open. Another one is coming out. Yes. Sure. And of course the door goes and shuts again. Fool me once, shame on the door. Fool me twice, shame on the security system. Fool me thrice, shame on me, I guess. Here it comes. We're picking up trace of the totem Pokemon extremely close by. The final security question. In order to open the door, respond to the following audio quiz. What appears when you hear the following music? <laughs> Toad and Pokemon. <gasps> oh fuck! Fika Fold. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. With my water Pokemon. Oh. My god. We fucking won. I didn't even use my break. Cubone fainted. 
and Mudbury didn't even use because I thought I'll use it as a last resort. But Primarina is just that damn good. I feel like a dumbass. What did I train my ground Pokemon for? I panicked. I just panicked. That was my problem. I just panicked. Yeah, now the light goes on. Yeah, me with my blank face. Monghani. Softly. Oh, Sophie. Sophie and Big Mo. Look at how he's smiling. They love each other. They're bros. They're science bros. Nice work, Captain. You helped Nadia here through her trial, and your experiment was successful. A success? Well, it was scary as fuck. What if I hadn't been there, though? It seems that your pink totem Pokemon 2.0 uses too much electricity. If we can get a little assistance from Chargebug, we should be able to make some improvements. Here, Nadia, I'll give you this Electrium Z to reward you for beating the totem Pokemon. Let it levitate. Ooh, that's the good stuff. Still can't remember the song. Sorry. You watching? Oh, okay. The wrist movements. I see. I was fine when the power was off. Jeez, now that you can see me, I feel nervous. I'm not sure what to say. How about sorry for freaking me the fuck out? Thanks, or, uh, congratulations, you passed my trial. I sure did. Congratulations on clearing your trial. And you, Sofa Class, you did well as captain. I was really nervous. Don't you worry, I'm sure that I made the right choice in naming you captain, even if you are my cousin. Oh, they do look sort of similar. As similar as white people can look. No. Usually it's the island Kahuna who appoints the captains, but there are some uh, unusual circumstances here on Ula Ula. Who is the Kahuna here? Have we met them yet? So somehow I ended up captain. But you were really great, Nadia. I see, then let me reward you. Also Steelium Z! Alright! Alright! This is one of the Z crystals that I collected long ago during my own island challenge to prove my strength and that of my Pokemon, so it seemed fitting that it go from me to you. Take it and use it well. And if we're done here, Nadia, could I ask you to do a favor for me? Professor Kukui forgot this. <laughs> how, is he, how is he gonna how is he gonna deny he's the Mass Real now? You said he would be going back to Mali Garden. Could you take it to him? Maybe next time we can battle. Maybe next time I can use my ground Pokemon. Damn. Decided to visit Festival Plaza properly. Nadia, welcome to Festival Plaza. Nice to meet you. I've been waiting for you. This is the place where we support you, Nadia. Okay. Let me briefly explain about this place. First of all, I'm the receptionist at the information desk. I can see that. If you want to know about Festival Plaza, please speak to me. This is a PC exclusively for communications. It will connect you to the services that require an internet connection. The services currently available are battle videos and game sync. Okay. Who's this lovely lady? Reception desk for global missions. A global mission is an event in which you cooperate with trainers all over the world to achieve a world record. You can participate in a global mission via the internet. Ooh, cool. This is the reception desk to page trainers. Please use the service when you want to talk to a particular visitor. This is the reception desk for remodeling. You can switch to order facilities. We'll do our best to support you. We'll look forward to working with you. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it now, but good to know that it's here. Look at all these wild Pokemon who are visiting us. A timid shelter, a brave pincer, a hardy carbink. This one has a heart on it. I don't know why. That wild carbink seems to have taken quite a liking to this place. It looks quite at home, in fact. I can't bear to chase it off when it's so happy. Why don't you let it join your team? The, the, my team? Carbink went into a Pokeball. I just caught a Carbink without having to do anything. That's cool. And I'll just leave him on the island. And what about the question mark then? 
Oh, what's this? Looks like a wild Pokemon has wandered over to play in Pokepelago. Okay. It looks like it might just settle down and decide to stay here. Why don't you give it a day and see how it's feeling again tomorrow? Oh, so that's... That's okay. So you can actually catch Pokemon this way too. That's kind of cool. Sort of like a passive way to fill up your Pokedex. Harvesting them beans. Now suddenly I had like less than 10 beans when at first I had like 130. I don't know what happened. Time to go back, I guess. Right down to stop at the base. There we are. So next up, let's go find Kukui, Professor Kukui at Mali Garden. And then he'll probably show us off to where the next trial is. But probably Route 11. We'll see. Are those Team Grunt guys? That doesn't look good. Yo, 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 hold up, yo, Mr. Kukui. You say you want to make a Pokemon League? You got rocks in your skull? Why criticizing? Four turns, huh? Bring it on, the both of you. I've been researching Pokemon moves yet, so I'm always ready. Oh, yeah. I'll take you both on in a battle royale, and you'll be down with just a swift and incinerate or two. You gotta beat the man to beat the man, boys. Yo, for real? Fine, you asked for it. Get him good, Professor. You numbskulls should learn your place. Battle Royale, huh? Nice idea there, Kukui. You can beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? You look still pretty confident. This dude. According to the pro- Guzma. Guzma is like the leader of the Team Skull. The boss is gracious with his presence. Ooh. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma's here. <laughs> he doesn't look impressed at all. Greetings, cowering public. We have an exciting bout for you tonight. In the opposing corner, the Pokemon Professor Kukui. And in this corner, the boss of Team Skull and the hardest guy around, Guzma. Mm -hmm. Here we are, Kukui. Fellow rejects who never could become captains. Ouch. We've got all these moldy old traditions in Alola, the Kahunas, the captains. It's about time we cut out all that silly garbage and make something new for ourselves. Like the League? Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong though, Kukui. We've got no need for a Pokemon League. After all, everyone already knows who the strongest trainer is on these islands. Fuck, it ain't you. Speak for yourself, Guzma. It's not like I couldn't become a captain. I chose not to. I had other dreams, see? Like marrying a hot chick and getting your ruck rough to beat you up. I wanted to figure out which moves would be strong enough to beat old Hala, and I finally found what I was looking for. The strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and a Pokemon choose together. In the heat of the moment, and it really counts. Sentimental, but it works. That's when I knew I had to make a Pokemon League, yeah? To give everybody a chance to be pushed to the limit with their team and find that perfect move. Let's see it, Guzma. Show me your moves and prove you aren't just all talk. If you really can, that is. I'm just standing there like, what if? Right, Nadia, don't you agree? That's right. No what? Just that's right. So you're one of the kids on our island challenge? You don't look like Hala's grandson. It's because I'm a chick. This here's Nadia. She just moved to Alola recently. Discovery. New experiences. Adventure. She's loving every minute of it. Nadia and her Eevee can unleash some real powerful moves. So if you think you're the strongest trainer on these island, Guzma, why don't you battle her? Oh, shit. This move fanatic is getting me all riled up. I look pretty harmless, don't I? You got a Z-Ring, huh, kid? Why even bother with the island challenge? What's the point of it? It'll make me strong, or that's what I want to find out? That's what I want to find out. Like, I'm still not really sure what this whole island challenge is gonna get me. I'm not gonna be the ultimate champion. I'm not automatically becoming a captain or a kahuna, so what is the point? Ha! You don't even know where you're doing it. Watch closely, Kukui. Someday I'm gonna destroy you, but first I'll destroy everything you care about. Wanna see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form. It's your boy Guzma. He's got like deep circles on his eyes. He is a fucking mess. He could actually be in the middle of a psychotic episode and nobody would know.
Wonder what his first Pokemon is. Okay, dramatic. He screamed. Gall is so bad. Okay, that looks creepy. I'm not gonna lie. And my Eevee looks pretty harmless. Let's give it a shot! Kuzma, what is wrong with you? Okay, this looks way more hysterical. Now it's the time for your vaunted team to let loose and destroy everything. Why is that immediately your first reaction to getting power? Destroy everything. What's the point of that? It was Nadia, right? I'll remember you. As someone I'll be happy to beat down any time. Back at you, asshole. Your fucking Adidas outfit. Don't mess with the boss, yo. You don't want him to get serious. Well, now it's already too late. I beat him. Team Skull will have to go lick their wounds now. Getting beat by a child just doing her trials. <laughs> and I'm 11! Oh, I'm a one righteous trainer. Woo, Nadia. Those are some nice moves. I can feel my soul shaking. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to give you something super important. Here you go, cousin. This is the Z-Crystal for Primarina. The evolution of the Poplio you chose. Noise! And uh, about that mash you've got there, Nadia. Mm-hmm. Moling gave you that, yeah? Mm-hmm. I'll take it if you don't mind. I can make sure it gets back to the mass rail safe and sound. Mm-hmm. So what happened to Lily? You lose her somewhere, Nadia? We're not a Siamese twin. Oh, she's right there. And so is Acerola? And how is probably at some other side of shelf somewhere? <laughs> Maybe he's also taking his trial. Maybe that's what he's traveling around for. You and the professor fought those horrible team skull thugs, Nadia. Just thinking about it makes me worry. They sound like a scary group. You think? I don't know. Exchanging a few moves in battles is the quickest way to get to know someone in my book. Well, I'm going to head up Mount Lanakila. I've got to make sure the Pokemon leagues get finished and everybody has the chance to find their own perfect move. Keep training hard in your island challenge, Nadia, and one day you'll make it there. One day is probably pretty soon. Nadia, be sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. Not, not. You made it through Sofa Class trial, huh? That's really great. You could take up the next trial up past Route 11. Through Tapu Village, you know. If you get lost on your way, ask a police officer for directions. They're here to serve, right? Now, Lily, you're coming with me to do some shopping. Girls will be girls. No, I'm kidding. I spent all my money on that outfit, so... Yeah, I'm also that girl. You see that red flag? We're heading down there next time.